Did we induce something? Did the induction sizing work? Yes, it worked. Snapping off again. He just snapped, spewed it off. Got a little announcement for you guys because next to our Mechanics of Poker program and masterclasses, we have now released the Poker Ambition Academy. In this academy, you will be receiving weekly interactive webinars based on your pain points. We will be discussing all areas that you can improve in to become a more successful poker player, taught by coaches who have walked the path that you're currently walking. So if you're interested, go over to the site and I'm looking forward to seeing you in that academy. So to say guys, I just started up and as you can see i have 182 big blinds here and i have 224 big blinds there it's because uh, mr sekratev from russia okay he uh he got unlucky he got cooler twice basically i flopped top set in his rewrap pot he turned trips on queen 10 7 he had king 10 turn was a 10 yeah then you're gonna lose your money it's as easy as that and he got him big blind versus button with jacks which is you know if he does that as a frequency, it's fine. I usually prefer call calling versus the four bet, but he snap ripped it in. Definitely a snap a snap player. Snap players always tilt me a little bit. You know, they make their decision. Snap, 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 snap. Hello, the snapper strategy has been tried by many, but well executed by few. I think it can be performed to your advantage as it can pro produce reciprocal behavior. Misplika, por favor. What do you mean? And tilt from otherwise solid guys. Yes, true. It does tilt me. You know who was very good at that? Uh, Inner Spy. I mean, he still plays, right? At the over at GG. Shout out to Mr. Shout out to the GG streets. If you guys have any suggestions for clips, you know, sometimes we will get suggestions for clips. It's been actually a while, uh, which is obviously quite unfortunate. But please, you know send them over I'm, I'm a little bit i'm lost in inspiration i need some i need some i need some more inspiration for clips actually i did download one that was everyone loves the chop pot I, so, I sometimes say that when there's a chop pot but obviously we can just play the clip that would uh, maybe be nicer this is probably an okay hand to check race some of the time let's go for that Calls. Not really sure what to bet. I'm in doubt between one third and half pot, so I went forty percent. That's my solution. I can do two things on the river. was in doubt between betting myself and check folding I mean like it's, it's not like we have the nuts right <laughs> eights jacks tens kings aces so I think jamming is a little bit overdone then you could consider a block that's always a fine play if we check his main bluffs are gonna be king queen or ace queen that's very unlikely given the hand that we have so i think we have an easy check fold we do very well versus the check back range and very badly versus the betting range usually leading towards check folding yes very good advice Weko. <laughs> uh yeah interesting you obviously don't make money on the calls against nits but you make money when they don't bluff you off your weak shit Exactly. Basically, you get to overrealize. She showdowns too often. So you make money versus the other part of his range. Obviously, you spot a nit. You know, don't call the nits. Right? You, you want a good tip in poker how to make a lot of money? Call the, call the spewers and don't call the nits. I have to say, this is definitely one of the better advice that, uh, that I've given. This guy here is a little bit uh, fucked on the turn. 
range wise. Did we induce something? Did the induction sizing work? Yes, it worked. Snapping off again. He just snapped, spewed it off. My friend, you don't, you don't watch Matt Berkeley, yeah? You don't watch Matt Berkeley. I will show you. Um, by betting small, I sort of opened myself up to this. Yeah, I opened myself up to that, but I wanted to open myself up. It seems to be an induction size where I think he thinks I would fall for this with one pair type holdings. Um, yeah, this guy, uh, yeah. Also calling preflop with 10 8 suited, out of position, MP versus button. You know, not that solid. Where is he from? Russia, right? You know what time it is, guys. I want bring, bring the, the Russians, Russians on. on. More Russians. Bring more Russians on. I'm here to get them all. Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. We start straight away from the bat. Let's go. Three pair. He makes a little bluffy bluffy with the ace four blockers. Okay, he blocked the nut flush. Give it to me, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Give me fuck it. What the fuck? Do you need some help playing three bet pots out of position? Well, for that, we have created our master classes in which we dedicate one coaching program to dive very deep into a specific spot. Go over to the site pokerambition.com slash masterclasses and eliminate those weaknesses. Okay, so I think actually, I mean, obviously we're calling. Flop is close in these positions. But given the fact that it was a weird spot, you know, maybe it's a little bit lighter, I know. And the queen of clubs here on the turn is not great. So I think there's a barrel going to fold. Checks. So yeah, to continue my story. The mystery guest, he has explained me a lot about how to play against recreationals. He explained a lot of my students uh, how to play versus recreationals. Interesting sizing. I would, I would say normally, but I don't really know this guy. He's, uh, I've marked him as a little bit of a yeah, semi-something. Because like normally I would say that if I was beat, he would have went all in. But with him I cannot guarantee that, so I think I'm just gonna call. It's a little bit, it's a little bit weak maybe. But I feel like there's still a chance that I'm beat versus this guy. But, okay, I'll give myself a little bit of the chicken song. Where is the chicken song? Chicken, chicken, chicken. A little bit cheeky. A little bit cheeky. <laughs> Oh, Sweden tree bets. Show you slow, slow play his ass. I'm gonna slow play his ass. It's a good flop. Oh, Sweden! My friend, just be yourself and give me your stack. That's all you have to do. It's a good turn. One second, Barboza. I will get back to your great advice. Once we've stacked Sweden. Oh man, so many jigs. Do you never learn, Wacko? Why do you keep on jinxing? A good point. He doesn't barrel. It's quite weird. Sweden doesn't barrel this turn. It's weird, actually. It's a bit weird. Why does Sweden not barrel this turn? I can say either it's complete monkers or he's trapping me. I mean, I cannot not raise this, right? So he, he was medium? I mean, he can still be medium. That's definitely an option. Just like nines or something, eights, sevens. Okay, and here Ramses wants to uh, get an ace king. Well, I'm uh, very happy to do so, guys. Let's go. All in with ace king. And then you know what time it is. Let's go. All in ace king. What the fuck? Let's gamble. 
Baby girl. Here we go, baby girl. Here we go. Okay. Come on, bitch. Right. Bad news, guys. Jax, oh my god. King. Oh, oh. We, we hit. No, no, we did it, but we hit it. The streets will be softer these days without the Duchess. Yes, for sure. I'm very happy. No more Nituma tree. No more Flusu. No more Tunas. Very happy that they're gone. More for the Wacko now. More for the Wacko. Will you play 5k on GG Poker anytime in the future? Yes, actually, I've been adding 5k now to my grind. Then when I want to reduce 1k, I will add GG on 5k. Prob but I would say probably beginning next year and this year. Something like that. Interesting river. Can we buy the webinar after it has been done? Only for... Um, for let's say you subscribe afterwards you can buy a webinar in the past but that's only for guys who have a subscription but if you buy it now and you cannot participate you can rewatch it yes but you cannot go back in the library and buy uh webinars like with sweden it's, it's so tricky on one side you're like i'm gonna call this 10 jack because I can sometimes make a beautiful hand and then we get a lot of money. And on the other side, it's like, yeah, we're often gonna flop a marginal pair and then he's gonna barrel and then I have to call down and then we could lose. But hey, no risk, no glory. Something, something like that, right? It's the quote. Bad turn. Ooh, it's a very bad turn. Like a sizing. Oh, I feel so enthused here. Good fold on a king of diamond river. It's a very good sizing. Like, Sweden is a funky guy, man. Like, sometimes he does a couple things very right, in my opinion. Toppity, 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 two pair. How aggressive has this guy been? Ah, 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 ah. I don't really recall. See, this is quite a big bet. I should have betted a little bit smaller. Now, that's what they call the worst turn in the deck. What do we do on the worst turn in the deck? Not sure about this one. And it's also the worst river. Why did he call that? I think that's probably always a squeeze. I played that hand badly. I mean, he played his hand badly, but I also played my hand badly. Let's take full responsibility here. Should not have bet the turn. I think betting the turn is okay versus the big blinds range, but not versus small blinds range. Now, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Take a look at other videos that we've made. I'm sure you will like them as well. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. And make sure to join our Discord community so you can stay up to date with new content, new promotions that we have running here at Poker Ambition. And if you want to know more about Poker Ambition and our services, go over to the site pokerambition.com. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.